Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Crane's Comics. So, in this video today, I have a couple things going on. I have a haul video for you. Uh, I went down to the comic book store. I did shoot a video in my car, but it was so... It was on my phone, and I know this quality isn't that much better, but it was on my phone. I was really close to the camera, and I couldn't get a good angle of the comics. Uh, so I want you guys to be able to see the actual comics that I have. I do like posting them like above my head or around me so you guys can get a better picture, but I kind of like showing off the actual comic, if that makes sense. I have a haul video of that, and then stay to the end of this video. I'm actually starting a tag video, so stay tuned, and you will find out who I am tagging for a question that I want to ask these five people. So I'm going to tag five people. I'm going to leave a link to their channel in the description below. So let's get on with this haul, guys. So starting out, I had to check out this book. No, just, just as a disclaimer, guys, I went to the comic book store for the first time in, I don't know, like three months. I went to this comic book store, and I have a box set up there. Now, I feel a little bad, but my box was stacked up like this thick. Like, they couldn't fit any more books into my box. Granted, I had purchased these some of these books at another shop uh, that I prefer going to. This one just happens to be a little closer. Um... They were really cool about it, they were understanding, and I don't recommend doing this, creating any like bad vibes with the comic book store, because I don't want to piss them off. But if I have the book, I don't want extras. Also, another thing that bothers me is whenever they just add books to your box without you telling them to, it kind of makes you look like a jerk. Like they, they added three different Batman issues to my box that I didn't even ask them to. I asked them for the first one, and that was it. Then they asked, then they added like the second print, and then the second print of another Batman book that had nothing to do with what I was reading. So, just to throw that out there. Anyway, let's get on with the haul. So, I started out my Batman All-Star number one. I started reading it, and it's okay. I'm not loving it quite yet, but that could change. So, Flash number four. This is a book I definitely want to get caught up on today. Flash number four. Green Arrow number one. You guys can see that. The reflection is a little... It's a little wonky. Sorry about that. I'm trying to get some natural lighting to in here. Batman number two, Rebirth. Batman number one, Rebirth. Green Arrow number three. I'm super excited about this. I read the Green Arrow Rebirth and it was just phenomenal. It was so good. So I'm really excited about reading this Green Arrow, this Green Arrow right here. Green Arrow number two. and Justice League. Now, this is another thing that kind of bothered me. I only asked them to get me Justice League number 50 where it was supposedly supposed to give me Joker's name. They got me that and they signed me up for this, Rebirth Justice League. I have no interest in it, but since I got it number one, I'm just gonna try it, you know? Like, it's, it's here, might as well try it. If it's great, then I'll be super happy that they're all in my box, but until then, I'm not really happy. Now, on the flip side, my buddy said that he found something for me and he ended up picking it up for me. And I'm gonna show you the box. I'm gonna show you the box. And of course I took it out of the box and it's on my desk now because this thing, this thing is super awesome. So here's the box. It's Arrow. It's a paperweight of Arrow. I don't know if you guys can see that there's like a super glare from the window there. I'm so sorry about that guys. Bring the camera down. So, arrow right here. It's just like a paperweight statue. Here's the side of the box. Get that nice little picture of Stephen Amell going on. Here's the back of the box. So, you got that going on. After I throw it. So, I will show the actual statue down. So here's the statue, which is super girthy. But check out this bad boy right here. The only thing I'm not too psyched on is his eye makeup. I don't know if you can even tell. It's blue. So that's like the only thing I'm not too hip on. But I'm loving the outfit. I actually own this like cosplay outfit. It's, it's a... I'm not going to lie. It's like a Halloween costume. But 
it's good enough to be a cosplay. But like, look at this guy. He's beastly. This string here is an actual like string that you can pull back, like for a bow. Here's the back side of them. And then on the bottom, there were 5,000 of these made. This is number 3,210. So, just, I just think this is awesome. My thanks goes to my buddy Brad for hooking this up for me. Thanks, man. Uh, it's awesome. So now, what I'm going to do with this tag video is I'm going to ask a question and I'm going to tag five people to make a video response and then they tag three to five people. I know it's going to be hard. I probably should have done, I should have done three, but just to kickstart it, I want to do five. So this video, I'm going to call out, run down so I don't forget. I'm calling out So Comics. AJ Nerd Swag, Britton and Alyssa Comics, Comic Trips, and Davis Crump. I am calling all of you guys out. And if you need to remember these, I'm going to leave a link in the description below of all of your guys' channels. So my question to you is, what is your earliest memory of getting comics? Like, like what happened whenever you were a kid or a grown up or a teenager that made you get so into this stuff that you wanted to make a YouTube channel like that's that's kind of like based around it so i'm asking you guys all of this now i guess it wouldn't be fair if i didn't answer the same question so for me uh the earliest I remember is, I was, I don't even remember how old I was. I think I was like, oh gosh, I had to be like nine. And my brother was six because me and my brother are three years apart. We were at the grocery store where you could buy comic books. And this is like the best slash earliest memory of me. And I'll, this is why I'll never get rid of this book. I got Catwoman number one at the time. And it was like embossed, like an embossed Catwoman. I should, I'll, I'll, Put up a picture right here of it so you guys can like see the the title but there's like a, the catwoman figures actually embossed and even back then whenever i was nine that was kind of suggestive suggestive and my grandma who's like an avid christian and like churchgoer was like i don't know about this like this is just whatever and actually me and my brother were going to pick out the same book but my grandma was like no 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 you need to pick out a different book because you need to be able to tell them apart, which I'm so glad that she said that because now I still have my book. I'm, I don't even know where my brother's book is. I don't even remember what he got. He, I think he got like issue number two or issue number three, but I chose issue number one from the start. So I picked out issue number one. I still have it. I'm going to put a, a picture up here of it, but that's like the best, one of the best memories of, of comics like that I remember that I, I have. Now granted, there's like all these other books that I have, first appearances, um, boxes and boxes of books, and they're all great, don't get me wrong, but that's the one comic, or the one memory that stands out for me, um, and why, and that what created this like empire of, of great, like, comicness. Well guys, as always, love each other with comics, call not you people, answer the question in a video response. I'm going to put a link in the description below of all of your guys' channels. So have a great day. And as always, love each other with comics. Yeah. Anyway, I'm coming at you with a new video. Um, get the camera kind of adjusted. I guess that's okay. So